Hello, everybody. I'm going to introduce you to Tarek. Tarek is my son. He's going to take over from now. Yeah. Introduce yourself, Tarek. Um, we're talking about clownfish. Yeah. Well, what, what are we talking about? Patterns and stripes. Patterns and stripes. Yeah. So, basically what you're talking about is grading of clownfish? Yeah. Am I going to give you an exam today? Yeah. How about a quiz? Yes. All right. Let's do the drop box on the clownfish. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Here we go. Drop. drop. Hello, okay. guys. <laughs> 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 what was that? Okay, Terry, let's be serious just for a little bit here. Mm-hmm. We're talking about grading A, B, C, um, those type of letter grades. Yeah. And these can be attributed to any clownfish. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, you can grade clownfish as premium or extreme. And um, I have two examples here. One is the Picasso clown. The other is an onyx clown in the drop box right pattern. on top, uh, right on the it's left-hand side. Let's look at it's the Picasso clownfish first. That is considered grade A, and I'll tell you why. Yeah, it's a pattern. If you, it's a pattern, correct, Terry. Now, if you look at the white stripes at yeah. the head, in the middle of the body, and then towards the end of the tail, yeah. if two or more <laughs> white stripes are connected, so yeah. if you look at the, the so, Picasso clown, yeah. if they're yeah. connected, two or more are connected two are. on both sides, both sides, that is a grade A. Yeah. Now, if Let's do this. two or more stripes of the white stripes are connected, only on one side, that's considered a grade B. Uh-huh. Oh, my gosh. But don't worry, Terry. Just because you receive a grade B doesn't mean you're not any less better Ba-ba. than the uh, grade A. Ba-ba. Now, let me explain. Just because you receive a grade A or Ba-ba. B doesn't mean that you're less attractive than the other one. Ba-ba. Or that you did better than the other one. It just means how many stripes are connected. And then there are some grade Bs which are more attractive to some people. To some people. Some clowns which are graded grade B are more attractive than some grade A's. What's the matter? I know, right? The graded clownfish is kind of funny, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's continue on with the grading process. It's hilarious. Hilarious? Okay. Uh, the stripe itself can be connected towards the tail or towards the front end. Uh, so there's three white pattern stripes. Yeah, I'm going and, there. Uh, I got it. A grade A can be connected in the front uh, towards the head and the middle body. So it doesn't matter where Four, the connection is. Two, um, so, three. so we have uh, talked about grade A and B. Uh, and now let's talk about what it means to be premium and extreme. Now, to be premium and extreme, you have to have met the criteria of being graded A, which means that at least two of your stripes are connected on both sides, okay? Now, being premium means that the amount of white marking and the exaggeration of the pattern is more uh, noticeable. Um, it, it's not as plain as the other grade A. And also, to, um, to take it a little bit further, to be extreme, Terry, what do you mean to be extreme? You don't know, okay. Well, to be extreme, meaning, first of all, you have to at least met grade A, okay? Uh, and, and then to take it further, you have uh, more than two connections. So, to be extreme, you have connections on, point, on the first stripe to the second stripe to the third stripe. A- a- and your pattern of your uh, white uh, markings are extreme, like the word. All right, Terry. What do you think about being extreme, huh? The pattern is um black, orange, white. So the pattern is like that. Okay. That's why. If I'm following you correctly, you're saying that the patterns are exaggerated. The white markings are exaggerated. Well, yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, just like a black and and white uh, cow. Yeah. And. 
it's coloring on it because they want to show the coloring what does it look on it of mm. it the fish okay so basically what Tarek is saying is that regardless if you're graded a b premium or extreme you're beautiful in his eyes isn't that right Tarek yes all the crampus is beautiful that's right mm. so beauty is an eye of the beholder uh, Listen to this lesson. Mm -hmm. And it takes a little boy to uh, teach somebody this lesson. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Regardless if you graded B, A, B can be beautiful than A, A can be more beautiful than extreme or premium. It has nothing to do with attractiveness with this type of grading. Mm 